Okay, um, we're going to do a kit review now of uh, a wetsuit uh, that we use for swim running. So we're reviewing uh, a lot of swim run kit and one of them being a wetsuit, which is great for summer use as well, uh, just for regular open water swimming. And it's the Zone 3 Versa, okay, shorty, as you can see. So it does come with detachable arms which is a nice idea so that you can use it if it is cold or, or year-round really and they go on your forearm and they slip under under here the neon nylon covered shoulders and arms is designed so that you can be seen in the open water uh, you don't carry a float at all in the swim run so that's uh, designed to give you some visibility the main difference with the swim run wetsuits is the front zip okay so this is designed with a nice heavy duty zip on the front designed uh, so that you can unzip it when you get to the run get the air in, cool down or even just take the whole thing down off your uh, upper half okay so uh, some wetsuits have them on the front and the back it's even easier to get them down we found that uh, Although it's kind of nice to just do this, on this wetsuit it was difficult to uh, get the thing down on your own. You need your buddy uh, to help get the wetsuit down, which is a bit of a hindrance. Okay, so the upper half then, the shoulders are nylon covered, extra tough. A bit like a surf wetsuit, but not as rough. A lot smoother and a lot more flexible. And also the ribs as well, nylon covered in this blue color. Then you have a smooth neoprene uh, front panel here but the back panel is also all nylon and the reason for this is that you can sweat uh, and it will allow the sweat to get through uh, i.e. your skin can breathe when you're running very very important of course if you tried this in a normal tri suit you would cook so uh, the swim run suits are breathable and allow your skin to sweat and breathe on the back here as well, you'll notice that it's got a sewn-in pocket, okay, with a downward, downward fastening zip, and you pull it up, and you can keep gels or your uh, your water bottle or something in there as part of your sw swim run kit. Okay, as we go down the wetsuit, you've got the neoprene legs. Go on, Jake, get out. That's the dog. Neoprene legs, okay. Uh, one major design flaw that I found in this suit, which is a shame because it's a really great entry-level suit other than this, is that the, the crutch, the inner thigh and crutch area of the wetsuit is also neoprene. So if your thighs rub at all on the running, which mine do, uh, it just wore through right in about three runs. It was completely worn through. I haven't had a lot of success with uh, Zone 3 even answering me on this, let alone uh, give me a refund or a new suit. So what I do now in training, I use this for training, and I just put a pair of uh, like carry more running uh, pants over the top. The tight ones, they're not flapping around because when you swim in them, of course, you get the uh, resistance. So back to the suit, okay, uh, this here is neoprene. Um, uh, designed to obviously get you through the water nice and quick. Uh, the legs are shorty versions but they are slightly longer than the knee so they do cover the knee and stop just below the kneecap. Um, my uh, swim run buddy John found that too much he didn't like it so he actually cut them off across here. Since uh, I've had another suit from head I actually prefer the shorter leg as well okay so but that's an option you can you can just cut it as well okay now the reverse of the leg on the knee joint here is nylon covered neoprene so it's uh, very durable it's uh, resistant to scratches and what have you when you're running so it's also flexible for the knee joint here okay when you're running and the the butt and rear of the leg is also neoprene uh, non-coated neoprene Okay, now going around inside the wetsuit, swim running, you, uh, it's all around, uh, all about kit experimentation and kit you carry, you've got to carry from the start to the end, plus there's some mandatory kit like a water bottle, uh, whistle and some other stuff. So the inside of the wetsuit has these pockets, okay, so 
on the front side you've got these pockets here they're not very big big enough for a couple of gels that's all they're designed for really and um, those sit sort of in the below the rib cage here now we found that it's a it's an obvious place to have it so you can stuff your things inside here but we found that it's not that useful really the goggles uh, and other things I tend to just roll them up stuff them straight in the wetsuit not in the pocket you don't need to because the wetsuits fairly tight anyway um, and um, it does make it getting getting stuff out actually a bit cumbersome so I think uh, it's a new sport new kit I think it's a bit of a gimmick I do like the pocket on the outside although we have experienced when you're running sometimes that the zip catches and rides up and then the stuff falls out for example when you use a, a belt uh, we've rigged the belt up with uh, carabiners and stuff you can use that for clipping on your pan paddles or other things or clipping your partner tethering your partner uh, if you're doing that the belt could quite easily knock the zip knock it up undo that pocket and whatever's in there it goes out okay now um, this retails at um, 169 pounds I think I paid 169 pounds for it and apart from that design fault on the crutch there I'd say this is a really good robust first entry-level wetsuit for swim running I would still recommend getting it um, John's not had any problem with his obviously I got fat thighs <laughs> they're rubbing John's don't um, it just really depends on your your body shape your leg shape and, and running styles I guess but again you could just use a pair of um, running tights short short running tights over the top of the wetsuit just for training it would add some drag as well give you a bit of extra drag and build up the muscles as well for swimming and that would counter that problem okay and just finally I think overall for me I, I would recommend it as a starter suit especially for that kind of price because the head do one which we'll review next 175 pounds but apart from that they're all in the 400 plus range which if you're not sure whether you like swim running it's a lot of money to invest you could cut one down a normal tri suit cut it down cut the arms off cut the legs off uh, but then you don't have a front zip it's not a major issue because you can undo the zip and take it down when you're running that's totally fine as well okay so this is the zone 3 Versa swim running wetsuit entry-level wetsuit and uh, we hope you enjoyed the review